The New Orleans Saints finally return home next Monday night to face the Atlanta Falcons. It's their first game in the Superdome since the day after Christmas 2004. As local merchant Mike Sirio, who lost his house during devastating Hurricane Katrina, put it, at a time when everything's been so negative, this is a real positive thing for the city and the state. There are a lot more smiling faces today than there were a couple of weeks ago. Now, Saints receiver Joe Horn has always been upbeat throughout the entire tragedy. Recently, Best Damn contributor Graham Bensinger followed Joe on his long road home. Well, with destruction stretching from Louisiana to Alabama, he will take days to assess the total damage. The hurricane strikes. At, at that point, you aren't in New Orleans. No. What do you know about what's going on? I'm looking at TV like everybody else. It's, it's, it was unbelievable to know that the city that you're from, the city that you play football in, you have friends and you don't know what's going on, where they are, if they drown, if some of the kids that you know not making it, if, if, if some schools have... have it, it, it was crazy, man. It was, it was chaotic, man. And we had to sit there and watch that. You aren't one of these people that's just going to throw money to a different organization. No. And do you no. want to meet the families? Do you right. want to go to the shelters? If you got money, send it to the families that need You got your body. The kids love you. Do something. You go where your people are. I'm talking black. I'm talking white. I'm talking all races, my people, who went through this storm. You understand me? Right. Because color didn't matter when you got eight feet of water at your damn window. I've always felt you can move on, you just can't forget. That's not your call. If you didn't go, if you didn't stand on the roof, if you didn't lose a family member, if you, if you didn't lose a house, right. if all you did was watch and all you did was put your hand out to help every blue moon, that's not your call to me. Hot touchdown, Joe Horn. This means a new beginning for the city plus plus the Saints. Right. Because right. things happen for a reason, and right. I'm feeling that. Right. That you know now it's time for us to, to to start moving up in football and life and everything else. You're looking for some hope, and the Saints give that to us. He has scored the touchdown, sweet redemption, and a 42-yard touchdown. His shop was devastated, yet he still stayed open right. and continued to serve his role in the community. How important is that for you? It's, it's major important. It's major important. See, that's what Chill, he's, he's from here. He's from here, and he wanted to cut, He wanted to make sure his neighborhood was, 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 was strictly taking care of the kids, making sure that everybody's hair was taken care of. He wanted to help. I came back into town, um, opened the doors. It was kind of hard to get in, uh, forced my way in. Uh, seeing everything tossed around like it had been in the washing machine, all my, my chairs, the cabinets and the mirrors and everything was broken. I had a bright idea and I set up and started cutting hair and you know, you have to stick with the ups and downs and I just looked at this as the down part and by all the people who patronize me, I want to always show that I'll be there, rain, sleet or snow. We can't let hope um, dry up, we have to keep giving hope hope. You know, we have to inspire those who need inspiration. Louisiana Superdome proudly hosted several Super Bowls, but tonight it's now just an empty wreck. Yeah, baby, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, fix it up. Because we'll be here next week. It's my problem. It's my locker, man, right here. That's your locker? I don't, I don't know how well they're going to have it this year. Man. Wow. I'm just happy to even be back here, man. Right now, I'm just happy to be in the midst, just to be here knowing that we're going we gonna to be opening back up on Monday night, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be a good, it's gonna be a great feeling. One of the things you have to look forward to this year is you aren't on the road every right. week. What, what was that like for you last year? That, man, it took a lot out of the us. Road. It took a lot out of us. It was hell. Like, that's all I have to say. I mean, football was definitely not our top concern at all for nobody, coaches, players, Anybody. So many people didn't think it would happen. And I know how much the fans here love the New Orleans Saints. And everything's new. The dome is, it's, an, it's a rebirth. It's a rebirth, man, and I'm proud of it, and I can't wait. What do you, what do you think this will be like on game day? Man, I've never been to the Super Bowl. I'm not saying it's a, it's a Super Bowl game, obviously, but the atmosphere could be, the, could be that much, could be that big. It could be that big. I don't think it'll be a game that I've been in that that's, that emotions will be running that high. And that Monday night football game isn't just a special time for the New Orleans Saints oh, no. players, but everyone in the city and everyone affiliated. What does it represent 
Man, it, it, it represents a togetherness. It represents uh, love. I have a part of history. I have a part of saying, you know, I helped. I had a hand in helping, helping this dome get back to uh, looking spectacular. August 2005 till now, the one lasting image you'll most remember. A photographer was taking some, taking some snaps. And it, the dome, the lights were out. But they had like a hole in the roof. And it was a light coming down out of the dome that showed a part of the football field. Like the 20-yard line or something. And that one light patch, they had a kid. He caught that kid coming through that patch like you know, running, like a stride. That let me know right there that it was hell in this dome, but it was also some joyous time for kids. That might have been a kid that say, I'm Deuce McAllister, or I'm Joe Horn. It, that made me feel good, man. And come Monday night, you're going to bring those joyous times back. Definitely. want to thank uh, Joe Horn and uh, Graham Bensinger for giving us a little uh, slice of what's going on.